Hey vlog. <laughs> so I am moving in a week. In case you didn't know, I spent the last year and a half in Hawaii. I lived in Kona, I worked on a boat. It was the most amazing time ever. Grew a lot over there. Yeah, after about a year and a half, I was just ready to try something new. So I've been home for the last month, really resetting. I've been doing absolutely nothing. It's been amazing. My wonderful parents have let me just stay at their house and regenerate. But I've been regenerating and I'm regenerated and I am ready to get back out there. And um, my new job is going to be in Alaska. And me and my best friend Ariel, which you saw on my road trip vlogs, uh, we got jobs. We got the same job as a kayak guide slash deckhand. Never kayaked before, so we'll see. But I never worked on a boat before and I got a job on a boat, so fake it till you make it, ladies. But before I head out there, which it is Sunday and I leave next Sunday, before I leave, there's just a few things that I need to do with some loose ends to tie up some uh, last minute things to gather. On the list for today is to get my nails taken off. Don't look at them. I love the, I love the ASMR of it all, but one of my fingers hurt. It's hard to do anything with acrylics. It's time to say goodbye. So we're gonna get these taken off. That is, that is step one on the list. They're definitely not pretty, but I feel so much better with my acrylics off. I feel like I have my hand back, I can scratch my head really good. I had meant to wake up early this morning, but I didn't, and so it's literally 3 p.m. But I've completed my one task of the day. This morning when I woke up, I did clean my makeup brushes, which I've been meaning to do forever, so I'll insert that footage. For the rest of the week, I only have about two or three things I would like to get done every day just in preparation for my move. Join me uh, for the rest of this week. I literally just woke up. We're getting right into it. I don't know. I don't know the proper way that you're supposed to wash your makeup utensils. Like I'm using Dawn dish soap that might be gross. That's what I've always used. I heard maybe you're supposed to use face wash or something because it's like, it's what's going on your face. That doesn't seem very like sanitary. So I'm just gonna do this. Hopefully this water gets hot soon. But maybe hot water traps bacteria. I don't know. If you guys have any tips for this, let me know. So. Okay, guys, so look at this. What are you doing? You have treats right next to you. You have treats right next to you. Do you hear how sassy he is? <laughs> I will say there is something so satisfying about cleaning brushes, just watching all the gunk get out. And you're like, I've been putting this on my face. It's disgusting, I love it. There's probably a better method where I let them maybe like soak. Too lazy to look it up. I want you guys to listen to him yell at me. What? What do you want? You you have food. You have water. You have treats. I've given you cuddles. What more do you want? Exactly. He is the sassiest cat I've ever met. He will talk back to you. He's... My goodness. Good morning! Welcome to Wednesday. I just got to the gym, which is why I am looking like a mess. If anyone has any tips, I just chopped off like all my hair. I, I don't know how to style it. It looks like a greasy little like 1930s, you know, like paper boy type vibe is what I feel like I'm giving off, you know? But today on our list of things we're gonna do, we are actually running errands with my older sister. So I'm 100% positive that means we will be making a Target uh, trip at one point. We have T minus 
wow, like three and a half days. Come with me today while we just go, I just for out and about. Cheers. That was a good little workout it was pretty short only like 40 minutes because we got things to do today and i lifted as heavy as i could which I mean, is not right but I, I feel better i feel better than i did before We are back in the car. This whole vlog is gonna be me and the car, basically. And today at Target, we did do some damage. <laughs> I didn't even put the price and then video it, because I was like, this is embarrassing how much I'm spending for so little. While I was at Target, looking at things reminded me of other things that I need, like I should go ahead and buy mouthwash and other stuff. For We have a big day tomorrow. We have a big day tomorrow. We're doing some driving tomorrow. We're doing some driving need to go get all my hoops changed to studs because we're not allowed to have hoops at my new job only for safety reasons so i gotta do that and i gotta go to barnes and noble oh so that's that's our big day tomorrow um so you guys buckle in and get prepared because here we go It is now Thursday. Time is a ticking. I got things to do and I'm stressed because I'm not managing well. So like I said yesterday, today on the agenda, we are going to go get my hoop replaced with a stud, get some studs for these bad boys. We're gonna go to Barnes and Noble. I'd really like to get a planner. Come back, I'd like to clean some things. I think tomorrow is when we're actually gonna start packing. Friday and Saturday my packing days and I leave Sunday afternoon. Let's get the show on the road. Y'all, I fully went in, not even kidding, thinking I was gonna get a planner and one book. But that was, del that was delusional. That was delusional on my behalf. It did some damage. I don't know how I'm gonna fit this in my suitcase. So book haul. Didn't even get a planner. Did not even get a planner. First off, we have ki the Killers of the Flower Moon. If you're a little movie person like me, you'll know that Martin Scorsese is coming out with a film pretty soon about this. So I thought I'd read the book first. Also, I didn't even know this. It's about the Osage Nation in Oklahoma, and I live, I was born and raised in Oklahoma. So this is important for me to know anyway. Number two, we got Into Thin Air. 
fun fact about me about a year or two years ago i went through a really intense mountaineering disaster phase and i watched all the documentaries and movies i could about every you know k2 and everest and everything i could find i watched and this is about the mount everest disaster oh we'll, we'll be doing that third we have little fires everywhere i have not seen the show but i've heard the show is so good so it's like why not read the book first we we'll doing that fourth up we got the vegetarian this is a book talk recommendation and i love creepy stuff that seems right up my alley lastly this is called rainbow milk i just did i was like for my last book let's just do a random see what we land on and we landed on this one and I like this because I don't think it's something I would typically pick out for myself. It's about an ex-boxer. Ex-boxer. I'm stopping right there. I didn't read The Hunger Games in middle school because I thought it was a sports book. I I'm excited to see how this one goes. Okay, well, next up is going to the piercing place and getting my studs. I'm going to miss my hoop. I don't like having studs. But you got to do what you got to do for the money. Okay, let's go. Okay, well that is done. My new stud, got those, got this one. I'm already having regrets going with the pink studs because I do think, I do think that they probably will look like little growths in my ear from a distance. Yeah, I should have gone with like black, but too late. I wanted to be a little pink princess and I get what I get. It was so expensive, you guys. It was so expensive one two three four five new piercings plus an extra stud just in case two hundred dollars plus tip there's a few things i need to do at home but i'm ready for this day to be over i'm tired <laughs> Log, you have to do it horizontal. Oh, log me. I'm the star of the show. You're about to get fired. You're wasting storage. Hey, vlog. Today we're gonna run some errands. I I have a special guest who is our cameraman today. <laughs> cameraman, introduce yourself. Turn right onto Oak Park Drive, then turn right onto North Los Angeles. Y alcohol, pero todo se olvida. 
recibir esa llamada ¿Cómo estás mi amor? ¿Cómo estás mi amor? Ay, ya lo sé, ya lo sé So the time has come to actually start packing everything. I have like less than 24 hours to pack, which is plenty of time, but I'm starting to wish like I had started, started doing this a little bit earlier. I like don't even know where to begin. I've decided I'm gonna take two suitcases, two big suitcases, and then a backpack and a duffel bag as my carry-on. I forgot what they're called, little packing bags, packing cubes, these little packing cubes. I've been seeing them all over TikTok. People are like, these are a game changer when it comes to packing a suitcase. I'm a slave to capitalism, so I bought some. Yeah, that's cute. I had to buy like thermal underwear, bigger coats, gloves. Classic. Okay, look at that, you guys. I don't know if you can see it. They're a little big. Oh, whoa. And check this out, check this out. Can you see that? Can you see that? I don't know if you can see that. The light comes off, they convert into shorts. We do have the thermal underwear. We got some neoprene gloves. We'll be working in the water. You notice there's a perfect cat-sized hole in my suitcase. So we're making some progress. This is suitcase one, all packed. I'm really afraid it's gonna be over 50 pounds. Suitcase number two. So we are having to go, I'm forcing myself to be more selective. We have to narrow it down. There's some pieces that just aren't gonna make it and they're gonna be here when I get back and that's okay. And that's okay. I'm about to freak out. <laughs> I'm about to go to bed, but this was everything I wanted to pack and couldn't fit in. Do y'all see that? And then there's LV. That This is a whole other suitcase. This is a whole, what was I thinking? Elvis, say goodnight. Say goodnight, say meow.